Hello everybody, my name is Spyrus and this is the new and improved Press X to Not Die series. Now, a few changes to the channel. Um, you might have noticed all the old content is gone. Unfortunately, that is due to um, a few problems regarding regarding the other people in the videos, aka Scooby and Ebony. Um, rather not get into details about it, because it's probably very boring to most of you. But hey, we're gonna play Far Sky. So, let's, uh, just have a look at the options here. Yep, 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 yep. Brilliant. Alright, I think we're gonna play some sandbox mode. What do we got? Start off with an extractor. Siglide. And where's the big helmet? And we'll start off with that helmet, because it is the most useful. Daytime cycle. Do 30 minutes. Nighttime, well, we'll do 15. Predator spawn, normal. Seed, I don't really know any seeds for this game. So, for any of you that do remember the old video, this is a deep sea exploration slash survival game. And the first rule of surviving the ocean, of course, is to establish a base. Look at that! <laughs> Next rule of surviving the ocean. Find resources. Just like that. Third rule. Equip your goddamn helmet, you goober. That one's a very important rule. Never forget that rule. Or you will drown. And what's the thing? only thing worse than drowning? Drowning and no one knowing about it. The struggle is real. <sighs> and as we all know with these survival games, this is always the most boring part of it. Collecting your resources to start off and get ahead. Alright, so we'll need probably about 30 iron, which shouldn't take too long here. Oh, look at that, brilliant. Plus, we got this bad boy that'll be getting some more supplies for us. And next thing we need to do is find some gold. Because, actually, we might not even need the gold set. Weapons workshop. Boom. And we want to make a knife. This will come in very handy. Because, as some of you who have played this game know, predators are a bag of dicks. Seriously, they will just moiter you for no reason. Now, looks like we found some chests. These are always a useful thing. Oh. And, as usual, they have not let us down. Oh, beautiful. Oh, even better. Oh, magic. We're already getting ahead in the deep sea survival game. <laughs> now, another rule of surviving the ocean is you need to eat. However, there are rules behind eating. First rule, do not get fish when predators are around. This is a bad idea as they will destroy your shit. Predators are a bag of dicks. Alright, we should all know this. Ugh. So this is why you build a better helmet, so you can get nice and deep down here. And kill some jellyfish. Now jellyfish are probably the greatest thing in this game to kill, because they always, always, always give you jelly. Which is food. And we are already getting attacked. It. What you have just witnessed is survival of the fittest, ladies and gentlemen. Survival of the fittest. 
Now, I have been emailed before about this game from someone asking me about some problems. Now, first off, the problem they encountered was the game just would not start. Very easy fix to this. Uh, the easiest fix that I know of is, if any of you know what this means, vanilla the entire game. Delete every file associated with it. And if that does not work, then contact the developer. They're very easy to get in contact with, and they are very helpful. Honestly, one of the nicest developers I've ever had to deal with, and I've had to deal with at least two. And that is no joke. I have actually had to deal with some developers who are just absolute jerk-offs. <coughs> oh, beautiful. Food. Food. Oh, get it all up in there. Mmm, slurp it up. Ah, beautiful. Copper. Gold, always important. Remember, people, gold is life. Well, actually, it's not. Gold is, uh, one of the weakest metals, so I'd say it's probably anything but life, to be honest, but... Oh, shut up, you get the gist. Ah, look at that. There's even a gold spawn over there. Now, the reason you might be asked, oh my god, I'm going to drown. Did not even realise that. How did you place a floor there, you goober? Oh, can we make it, ladies and gentlemen? Can we make it? <clears throat> There's a race against the clock. Well, looks like the adventures of Jim are going to end quicker than we thought. Unless we eat. Which isn't really doing a lot. Gee, thanks. Thanks, game. Were you there? Ah, oh, we are so screwed here. But on the bright side, if you do die in this game, you can always just go back to where you died and get your bits and pieces back. So let's just, yeah, good. We've died from asphyxiation because we ran out of oxygen. And as you all know, asphyxiation is kind of different to drowning, because drowning involves water or some form of liquid being in your lungs. Whereas asphyxiation is just running out of air. <coughs> but on the bright side, we can get it back. <coughs> there you are. Take all. Put your there. And you there, and put you there. Oh, look at that, we're already back. We're already back. And now we will continue to go for the gold. Because that is our mission in life. <coughs> Collect gold, get life. Or something like that. Sorry if this playthrough is very boring to some people, but at the same time I know there are some people out there who are like me and get much enjoyment out of watching playthroughs like this. And unfortunately, most playthrough people get famous because they are completely eccentric and extroverts to the max. Such as Jacksepticeye and PewDiePie and Markiplier, they seem to be incredibly happy people. However, I am probably not as happy or eccentric as they are. Gold you will notice is in these pillars too. That's because it disappears. Remember how I said jellyfish are the best way to get food? These jellyfish are even better because they actually throw themselves directly at you. Look at that. And we only lost a smidge of health. Jellyfish, again, easiest thing to capture in this game, like kill in this game. Because they spawn like anything. Billions of jellyfish going through the jellyfish forest. 
Only about 20 of them come out. When I'm around, anyway. So, yes, as I said, this is the new Press X to Not Die channel. We are still located at the same URL, though. Thank God. We didn't lose that. However, we did lose all the content. Due to uh, hardships in personal lives as well, Ebony will no longer be joining me on these videos and requested that the videos with her in them be taken down. Because of some reason or other. I'm not completely sure. However, Scooby will be joining me for many a game. And so will my friend Robert and my other friend Aiden. Except Aiden will probably be a very rare, very special guest because he lives in a complete other state to me. And for those of you that don't know, I live in Australia. So he lives in a state called Queensland, which is at the direct opposite end of the country to me, because I live in a state called Victoria. But that doesn't matter. We're still friends. Can we make it? <coughs> Sorry if I cough and sniffle a lot. It's uh, winter over here. And it gets very cold in the city that I live in, and colds are very, very, very prominent. I think everyone in my family has a cold at the moment. It's not a lot of fun, but, you know. But hey, at least we made it back this time. For any of you that have watched my older episodes, you'll remember the episode where I drowned at the ladder. That was fun! Not for me, but for you. And I'm sorry if I keep talking about the old episode, because I really bloody miss them. But hey, such is life. But remember, new and improved channel, new content, new games. Might even replay some of the old games. But yes, this is basically the extent of this game. There isn't really a goal. I will do another episode of it when I have Scooby with me, hopefully. Or when I have Robert with me. And we will do another mode in this game called Survival, which is where you have to remake your submarine and escape the ocean. A lot of fun. Also, it might be a bit more interesting to watch because we will have a specific objective in mind, instead of just meandering for 27 hours. So, with that, my friends, we will leave this episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next video.